Be sure to check out the new issue of Tiny House Magazine. Head over to tinyhouseblog.com. And coming up, hands-on Tiny House Workshop, the Diedrichson Brothers in Los Angeles, Feb 3rd, 4th, and 5th, relaxshacks.com has the details. Hey, this is Joshua from tinyhousebasics.com and we are here to show off our latest tiny house shell build. Uh, this we built for a customer. It will be going to San Diego after this. Uh, we are calling it the Rubicon. It is 24 feet long, 102 inches wide, and it has lots of upgrades. We have cedar shakes on the outside. We have these beautiful French doors, which you can see. We have two style pitch roof. We have a gable in the front and a gable with dormer in the back. This thing is just loaded with options. So we wanted to show you it before we uh, ship it off to San Diego, show you some of the features that you can get on your own tiny house shell. So we'll take you along the outside and then we'll do a tour on the inside when we're done. So here is the outside view. Now with each of our shells, they include four windows, the front door, standing seat metal roof in a gable style format. Um, and then T111 exterior siding. This tiny house has a lot of upgrades. So the exterior upgrade of Cedar Shakes, um, it has mill guard awning and double hung windows. It has these uh, beautiful uh, mill guard essence French doors, really opens up the space. And then they also, the customer also added these, requested these outriggers on the outside of the uh, roof line to kind of give it more character, a little bit better overhang for uh, water and rain. And then this front window up here is a large four by three awning window. So you can see it pitches forward for airflow. And um, let's take you around the backside. Each one gets its own Tiny House Basics bumper stickers. And here's the back side of this shell. And this one is built on a 24 foot, 99 inch wide Tiny House Basics trailer, 10K GVW gross capacity. So each trailer and shell is custom built for the customer. So they can request features like drop axles, extended tongue, different color custom paints, different widths. And so on all of our shells, we'll always build them standard on 99 inch wide trailers. If the customer would like a little bit wider to bring it over the legal limit, we could do that. And we could also do it even more narrow. So let's go ahead and go to the inside and we'll show you the inside interior structure. So here we are on the inside of our 24 foot tiny house shell. Uh, we have these big six foot uh, Milgard Essence French doors. So it really opens up the space when you get these wide open. Really helps bring the outside in, which is really important in any tiny house design. We have it on our very own entertaining abode, where we have our eight foot accordion window, our 36 inch front door, which has the full glass. And then in addition to that, we have about 13 windows in our build. So with this tiny house shell, there's the six foot French doors we have in the front. And then we also have nine extra windows. So with these of our shells, it includes four windows in the build at standard price. And then you can add as many windows, you could add French doors, patio doors, skylights, 
all those as extra options all the way up into a complete build. So with this build, they added five extra windows and then they did the gable roof with dormers and then the steeper gable roof in the front. And then we have uh, cedar shakes on the outside as you saw on the outside walk around of the shell. And um, other than that, then we'll show you a couple of the inside features of this build. So we'll walk around the build so you can kind of see a little bit of the framing. So the beauty is the, of the shell is it takes, we take care of the hard part for you. So you can get right to your electrical, your plumbing, and then all your interior finishes, but let us take care of the hard part, the actual structure and the framing and making it a watertight structure to build with. So right up here, the customer requested that they would put in their own loft. So, but this is where a 10 foot loft will go. The gable with dormer section is actually half of the trailer, so 12 feet. So the loft will come in at about just underneath this window right here. So they won't hit their head on the steeper gable when they're going down their stairs or ladder or whichever option they choose to get down. Maybe even a rope or a fire pole. I guess we'll see. So with all of the fenders, they are completely enclosed uh, with steel fenders around the wheels, but we always recommend whether you're doing a self-build or having us build, is to run a header across the fender and treat it just like a, wheel, uh, just like a window opening. That way the load bearing structure of the roof is coming down onto the header just like you would be framing a window. So you can see that on these other windows and then also the larger span across the uh, French doors. So with any uh, French doors, you know, we have these ones are six feet wide. You can do uh, five feet, seven feet, and you can even place them behind the wheel wells, but the limited space for back there for a French door is about five feet. So here's a closer view of our Simpson HTT Strong Ties that we have on the King Stud running all the way up to the top. Thanks for coming along on our latest tiny house shell tour. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. This is just another example of all the things that we can do for you on our tiny house shells, since each one is built uh, custom for each customer. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to email us at info at tinyhousebasics.com. And of course, for more pictures, videos, and articles on tiny house living, go to our website at tinyhousebasics.com. And thank you for watching.